What's up guys, this is Coach Ray and today we're going to train our side press with rubber resistance bands. Before we go any further, I'm turning to you guys. As of making of this video, I have 2100 subscribers. Most of you are loyal and supportive of me. I'm trying to make this in full time living, but uh, with new YouTube policies, basically I'm making zero revenue for last six months. If you want to see more content, more consistent content and better quality content, please Check out link in description for patreon.com. All my patrons will receive workout plans weeks or even months before everyone else gets them. I would really appreciate that and uh, stay strong and let's get back to exercising. I have so many guys asking me basically how can I train my side press when I have no arm sling table, I have no cable machine, basically with almost zero equipment. So for this all you will need a rubber resistance band all over the internet how guys are doing this exercise and most of them are using it incorrectly or not working properly basically not getting all the benefits that they could be getting in this video we will cover everything you need to know about this exercise so you'll be working properly with zero equipment let's look at the variation that we're doing what we're doing is basically side press with rubber resistance band so i have seen guys doing different variations of these and uh Let's look at some things. So first you can do several variations. One is just over your wrist like this. Second is over supination. Over supination is better because it activates more of inside of your arm, all the tendons and everything here, than with just with normal. Because here you can easily slip out from positions and take tension away from your side press. So variation we're doing, is like this you're turning your wrist slightly inwards we're keeping our elbow here we're gonna do, start by doing a drag and then push our arm a little bit forward so first thing I notice when guys are doing this exercise they will start doing like this so as you see the angle of my arm and the resistance band changes even though resistance band gives constant tension and pulls you back every time you're still losing force in a position where you want to have the most force so when we're doing this it's basically there is no difference if you're doing this or here so just move in straight line so I will try to keep this in a straight line as I can like this I'm doing a little bit supination and more of a drag movement just pushing my arm forward there are variations where you can where you're doing just with your arm like this this is working just your arm this is working your elbow lock so I'm starting like this and I will not move my arm I will move only my body so you can work from different aspects you can build your muscle or tendon strength second thing I have noticed when guys are doing this exercise they will start like this or like this the arm should be the same height as you would when you're working on arms and table. So for me, it's here. Second thing is angle of your arm. So guys will start doing this and, and, and basically what they will do is they're creating smaller, like keeping it here. And when they're going on arm sling table, their angle is here. So tendons and muscles will get stronger in position where you train them. If you're training them here, they will get stronger here. And if you cannot arm muscle like this, there is no benefit of doing this exercise. Second thing is guys will start doing exercise like this. They will be turning inwards. You can feel the tension going away. So I don't know why guys are doing this exercise by turning inwards. It's just because you're doing on table. There's arm that's constantly taking you back here. You get into the position like this. If you can keep the tension here, there will be there will be still some tension on your wrist, but not on your tendons. So I don't recommend turning inwards. I recommend standing like this more, and not in straight position, but actually turning to do a resistance band like this. So here there will be more tension on your elbow, more than less. So you can actually change it. This will be a lot harder version than is here. Keep the angle of your arm in the position that you would on table. Don't put it too high or too low. Don't turn inwards. Keep the tension constant on your 
elbow work with just your arm work with all your body different variations how you want to do this so but don't say that you don't have any other option to train your side press if you don't have arm sling table or cable machine or things like that you can always work around things if this video was beneficial leave a like leave a comment if you haven't subscribed yet then click the subscribe button right now support this channel on patreon.com become one of my patreons and uh, stay strong and love armistice